Welcome to the Athens Politics Nerd Podcast. We've got a big topic to discuss today. The legislature just dropped a plan to redraw Athens commission districts just months before the election. They've decided to ignore a map submitted by the ACC commission, just as they said they would, using the excuse that the commission vote on it was 7-2 to two with one abstain and not unanimous. The immediate political fallout from this plan, if the maps are approved, would be to remove Commissioners Melissa Link, Tim Denson, and Russell Edwards from office. That's right, they've been gerrymandered out of their districts and they wouldn't be able to run for commissioner in this cycle unless they decide to move. I'm inviting them on the show today to talk about it. Commissioner Edwards couldn't make it, but let's go straight to my interview with Commissioners Link and Denson. Here with me now are ACC Commissioners Melissa Link and Tim Denson. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Chris. Athens Republican state representatives have released a plan which would completely change our commission districts, throwing our local election in May into chaos. Um, There's so much going on here to dislike. If this passes, most Athenians will be in different districts with different commissioners. And three commissioners, that's you both plus Russell Edwards, will be removed from office and prevented from running for commissioner in this cycle. It's just astounding. Uh, What are your thoughts? You know, I want to say that I'm shocked, but knowing these Republican representatives and the, the modus operandi of the Republican Party in general, which is essentially to dismantle democracy wherever they possibly can, I'm really not shocked. I mean, what do you expect from a pig but a grunt? Similarly, I mean, we knew this was a real possibility, which is why most of the commission worked so hard to try to pass the maps that were drafted and created by the uh, by our by ACC staff and the Board of Elections. And of course, um, as Athens Politics Nerd reported on, those maps did pass seven to two, but neither unanimous consent for uh, the, the state legislature, le- legislative delegation to accept those and put those in place. And since uh, Mike Camby and Allison Wright voted against them and Avita Thornton abstained, it opened the door for this. And we spoke to this in the meeting, like this is what we're opening the door for. We need to all be aware this is what we're asking for if we don't have unanimous consent on these votes. And this is what we got. Um, basically disenfranchisement of, and, and, and disruption of, uh, you know, basically the representation of more than half of the county. Um, I'm hopeful that, you know, these, these, these maps have not been actually filed yet with the state legislature. So I'm hoping that, um, if people speak out and talk about how upset they are with these maps and how these maps are not what athens Clark County wants, um, that we can try to reach some kind of compromise. And do you think there'll be a legal challenge if they try to go forward with this? Um, will it hold up in court? Tim, what do you think? I think there's definitely some, uh, there, is, there is some real legal concerns here. Um, though, you know, the press release sent out by uh, the Republican delegation said that, um, these maps created more minority opportunity districts that uh, creating four of them. That's only true if you're counting non-voters, um, which of course, if you're not old enough to vote, it's not an opportunity anymore. Um, so that's not true. But I think the bigger problem is that in, in their attempts to do that, what they actually did was depreciated and, 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 and lessened the number, the percentage of black voters in seven of the 10 districts actually therefore diluting the black vote in 70% of the districts. And at the same time, split arguably our most historic black neighborhood, East Athens, directly in half, right down Peter Street, um, separating the East Athens Community Center from a majority of the other parts of East Athens. Um, So there's some real legal issues that could have some concerns with the Voting Rights Act. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if these, if these maps are signed into law, um, I would not be surprised at all if there's not, uh, one or multiple legal challenges against them. 
I agree. Um, I have spoken with several attorneys, some of my constituents who are attorneys who, as soon as they heard about that, reached out to me. I've reached out to a couple others, um, and they are just aghast at the, the drastic nature of this map. Um, you know, it's it's so blatantly obvious that the intention of this map was not to create fair districts, but to throw three duly elected representatives out of office, to essentially fire three elected officials without the consent of the voters who put them in office. These representatives that made this map without the consent of our one Democratic representative, from what I understand, Representative Fry was not invited into the conversation to create these maps, but they do not represent a majority of the Athens community. And like Tim said, the demographics of some of these districts don't hold up either when, when they're representing a population number rather than actual voters. You've got one district that is by far a majority student housing. Most of those folks in Allison Wright's district do not vote in Athens Clark County, and they certainly don't vote in local elections. They're, they're students that are transient and come and go. Um, so you've got a, a representative of that district who really only has to appeal to, you know, probably a few hundred voters, if that. These maps do not represent athens Clark County. These maps do not represent the athens Clark County that we want and that this community wants. So again, that's why I say, if that's really what the state delegation wants, if they're really trying to find a way to have better minority representation um, and lines that make more sense, um, you know, we're down for that, but we're not down for them also at the same time, taking away people's abilities to choose their elected representatives. So I think um, if Houston Gaines and Marcus Weedauer and Bill Kowsert and Frank Ginn, if they're really trying to look out for the best of Athens, then they need to come to the table with us and sit down and we, let's make some maps that work for all of Athens. I agree. The most appalling thing to me is, you know, we had discussion and we, we heard from the GIS office about the data and how the population had changed and, and which districts it had changed in. And um, my district it had changed the least proportionally. You know, the initial maps that were presented um, showed no changes necessary to District 3 to keep it within those population and demographic guidelines. Yet the map that the state representatives brought back to us just wiped my district off the map. It, it wiped District 3 off the map. And to District 3 has long been the majority minority, traditional majority minority district um, even before the redistricting, you know, the, the midterm redistricting t less than 10 years ago. Um, so they, they just completely wiped this historically minority majority district off the map and like redrew a new district three on the absolute other side of town that does not have anyone from the original district three. So what do my constituents do when it's time to go to the polls? Um, there's, you know, people in Boulevard, Cobham, Rock Springs, Hancock, Broad Acres, Rock Springs Housing Community, Columbia Brookside. They're going to go th to the polls in May thinking that they're in District 3. And they're going to get turned away because they're now in District 2. What kind of confusion does that foment? And can, that, that chaos is a form of voter suppression. Yeah, I think it will yep. be very confusing for people um, and districts. Uh, seven and 10 were also swapped. So I think that, yeah, I think most voters in Athens will, will have a different commissioner after this is all said and done, mm -hmm. if they pass these maps. Yes, they will. They, don't, they won't know who to call if they want a pothole fixed or to report speeding in their neighborhood or, you know, anything. They won't know who to call. And so their, their representation is being removed. Um, it's, it's not fair. It's anti-democratic. Um, and and it, it's really doing a disservice to the citizens of this community. It gets into even more technical problems too, because I mean, you know, like Melissa saying, like so there's so little time and people aren't gonna be prepared for this. You now we have qualifying for actually for these races and these offices in less than nine weeks away from right now uh, starting and the ability for people to prepare and actually qualify for those races in that kind of time period um, it, 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 it's absurd. And then you also have the, the technical issue of voter precincts. The Board of Elections here in athens Clark County 
um, are not going to have time to be able to react to these new, drastically new and different maps. I mean, again, we can't uh, we cannot understate how drastic the changes are in some of these districts. Really. Um, and so the, we already have some voting precincts that are that are confusing, which people have to drive outside of their district to go vote for that. If these maps go into place, there's not going to be time to change the precincts, and you're going to have people voting in precincts drastically away from where their actual the actual district is that they're voting for um it, it's it's it is so disruptive and again if this is a legitimate attempt at trying to fix problems which there are some problems with our, with our districts that could be done that could be done better um that's one thing but this doesn't do it it just disrupts people's lives and the ability for them to uh, engage in democracy and with their elected officials like melissa said and um and that disruption definitely is a, a type of voter suppression, yeah. State Senator Bill Kauser made some interesting comments about this map on Tim Bryan's radio show the other day. Let's take a listen. Very quickly, about a minute left, a little more than a minute left, uh, Senator Bill Kauser. Uh, Anthens, Clark County Commissioners, we just spoke with one of them, Commissioner Tim Denson. Others not happy with the legislative rewrite of Anthens, Clark County Commission mm -hmm. district lines. Quickly, what do you say to them about this? I think it's interesting. Uh, really, no commissioners approached me at any time about their redistricting plan, and that's that's a function of state government uh, to do that redistricting. We have had a, a a rule of thumb, sort of, that if our local governments can unanimously reach agreement on on local legislation or uh, including redistricting maps, then we tend to to support that. If they don't, then then the state legislature comes up with a plan. Uh, we have a map that is, uh, I don't, I, I know that three of the commissioners already called me and gave me a high five out of boy that they love the, the plan. Uh, it sounds like you got one or two that are also unhappy with it, but they're very compact districts. They're uh, the same size. I mean, there's less than 1% than deviation in, in population variances between these districts. Uh, it also gives great geographic diversity to the, the, the commission, the the current map is very uh, downtown, five points centric, and it allows uh, those areas to have more representation than their you know, geographic representation in the county. Mm -hmm. This map lets all different areas and neighborhoods have representation, including the rural areas of the county. The mm -hmm. east side gets fair representation. Five points still has a seat and the west side. I think it's you look at the map and look at the lines there pretty compact districts that yeah. barely represent communities of interest. Got to leave and it there. Got to leave it there, Athens State Senator Bill Cousard up against the bottom of the hour. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's start with the comment about some commissioners really liking this map. Which commissioners was he talking about, do you think? Well, I think there's no question. He says at least three commissioners called him. We had three commissioners who did not sign on to this map. Um, two of them flat out voted no and one abstained. That was commissioners Allison Wright, Mike Hamby, and Obita Thornton. We begged and pleaded for them to please offer the input that we, that, that we need. Mike basically kept his tongue bit and we didn't know what he was thinking. It's clear that there's been some collusion with these sitting athens clark county commissioners who claim to be democrats it's clear there's been some collusion with our fascist republican legislators our anti-democratic republican legislators who are hell-bent on destroying democracy wherever they possibly can and if that is the case if these three commissioners actually called senator calzard up and said thank you for creating this chaos in our community, they need to be thrown out of office. They have the opportunity to be thrown out of office by the will of the voters. These folks actually stabbed us in the backs. I commissioned, for, I, I campaigned for Commissioner Thornton. I'm so disappointed and so hurt that she would enable this kind of attack on democracy, on her own community. I'm just sickened by the whole thing. And their constituents need to know that they inflicted this on our on our community. I was actually on Tim Bryant uh, just minutes before uh, Senator Kalsert was on there um, speaking to this these issues. And, um, you know, Senator Kalsert then stated, yeah, that uh, that three commissioners called him and gave him a attaboy and said they support the maps. Um, that, that's absolutely shocking to me. I mean, just 
uh, these, again, these maps completely, I mean, Commissioner Thornton said her concern about these maps was that there was, it was no transparency and there was no public input. There wasn't enough public input, even though the mayor commission did take public input, I think a minimum of three times in person, plus had online public input going on for weeks through the board of elections while they, where they did that too. And also actually handed over the, the drafting and approving of the maps to the board of elections, different individuals who also respond are responsive to uh, to constituents here in Athens. So there was actually was like pretty considerable public input opportunities. But if somehow the Senator Kausert is saying that that Senator Thornton, I mean that, that Commissioner Thornton supports these maps and said attaboy, I mean there was zero public input, zero, zero transparency. Um, and yeah, if there's any commissioners who support these maps, then those commissioners are also simultaneously supporting a, the, the disenfranchisement of, of voters um, and creating disruption in people's ability to actually engage with their elected officials. Um, and to me, that's just, uh, that's just not forgivable. Yeah, the, the entire core of the city is now an even district, and so they won't be able to vote in, in, in the elections coming up. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and, and another comment of uh, Kausertz that sort of irked me was about the geographical diversity. Um, so maybe he doesn't realize that right now we have, you know, Commissioner Jesse Hool, who is on, you know, the far west side of the county. We have Commissioner Davenport, who's on the far east side. We have um, Commissioner Edwards, who's on the south side, and, and, and Thornton, who's on the north side. So, I mean, yeah, the other six are, you know, roughly somewhere in the middle of the county, but that's because that's where most of the people are. So like, does he not understand that? Or, or is um, this term geographical diversity, is that like a code word for something? Like what's going on here? Yeah, that, 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 that phrase, when, whenever he used it also confused me. I mean, actually right now we have, we have 10 commissioners, five of them live outside the loop, five of them live inside the loop. Seems like a pretty good spread actually for me, right? That, that I would think half the commission lives inside the loop, half of them doesn't. Um, it's actually, yeah, that's actually probably, I don't know if we've always had that kind of breakdown. I don't think we have. Um, and what's in the geographic diversity, which I think is really interesting. Um, some districts you're not gonna be able to do this with just because there is more density in the inner part of the town and you're gonna have to have, therefore, commissioners representing some smaller spaces. That's just, that's just necessary. But say in District 5 that I represent now, um, I have, a, I have a, an urban area. I have a, a normal town. Then I have suburban areas, which is like out where I'm living, out in the Quailwood and Homewood Hills area. Then I have some rural area out by Nowhere Road and also even like industrial area over on 441. It is extremely diverse that I have to be able to hear from constituents with all those different kinds of backgrounds and needs who get to tell me what they're what is important to them and it gets to be filtered through me um and that that takes place in a, a, a majority of our districts i would say so there um the the, the term yeah geographic uh, diversity whatever it was that he would use i i i was kind of confused by it. If, if anything it was trying to um pocket away and kind of silo certain kinds of communities maybe, or, or I'm not sure really that that would create possibly more issues because then you wouldn't have that larger understanding of the needs across the whole gamut of athens Clark County residents. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm, I'm in a district that's probably the most diverse in, you know, the existing district is probably the most diverse out of all of them. I've got multiple in-town urban neighborhoods, um, some which are very white and some which are very historically African-American and some that are really mixed. And I've got some, um, I've got some really diverse suburban territory, um, you know, some, some denser lower income housing as well as some traditional neighborhoods um, that are very diverse. Um, so it's, it's, it is really flabbergasting that, um, you know, they're making these these arguments that just don't hold water. And, and it's just so, so blatantly obvious that the primary, primary purpose for this drastic, drastic redrawing and reconfiguring of our democratic process in Athens is, is to essentially kick duly elected officials out of office without the consent of the voters. Have you given any thought to, to what 
um, you might do if if this map does go into effect and and if y'all are kicked out of office? Like, is there any other office that you're thinking about running for, or, or will you just like wait a few years and run again uh, when the seats come up? I, you know, some of some of my constituents are now in Allison Wrights. They are not happy about that at all. I mean, I, I could theoretically, you know, take up residence in in that neighborhood. Um, but for now, you know, there is there is some legal challenge that could be presented that, and I, I would imagine, I can't imagine any judge taking a look at the drastic change of this and saying, oh, that's fine, go ahead, have your election in two months um, or two weeks probably by the time this passes. Um, this is the kind of thing that you would hope would get a stay or an injunction of some sort and at least allow it to work its way through the courts because it's extremely complex. I immediately had constituents calling me about this who were just furious and are, you know, willing to do whatever it takes to fight this. Yeah, yeah, same here. At, at this point right now, I'm focusing on, uh, I'd, I'd say two things. One, um, reaching out to uh, our state representatives, our state senators, um, asking them to work with the people of Athens and with us to actually make uh, fair and equitable maps that don't disenfranchise voters. And then the other thing is, you know, exploring uh, legal options uh, to challenge these maps, um, which I know also, uh, you know, Fair Fight Georgia and other entities are looking into also. Um, but outside of that, whatever it comes down to, um, they ain't gonna get rid of me that easy. Um, I, got, I got into this game, not as an elected official, but as an organizer. Um, I might have been a bigger thorn in their side as an organizer than I was an elected official. If I was them, I'd maybe want me in office. Like every, it's, it, uh, I don't have as, as quite as wide a, a, a gamut of uh, things that I can try to, to use to try to help you know, people of Athens uh, fight uh, some of these uh, conservative, uh, terrible laws that get put in place. So um, in one way or the other, I'll still be uh, working to make sure that uh, we're building an Athens that works for everyone. Well, thanks for being with me. This is just such a disaster, but but I appreciate hearing, hearing your voices on this. Thank you. Chris, thanks for reaching out to us. Yeah, thanks for digging into this. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Remember, these maps aren't a sure thing. You might want to contact your state representatives to let them know your opinion on this. And you can find their contact info on my website in the local government menu. Thanks to everyone who helps keep the show running. When you donate to APN, you're also funding investigative journalism. I'm putting in an open records request to try and find out if our commissioners had any input into these maps as they were being made. I'll be reporting on that as soon as I get that info. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.